All or nothing is one of the volleyball strategies. It literally means that you play with maximum risk. In this video I give you specific advice on when you should use this strategy, in what situations you should think about it and when. On the other hand, this all or nothing strategy won't help you at all. I've played professional volleyball all over the world and I have come across this volleyball strategy several times. All or nothing volleyball strategy is nothing new. It's not a secret volleyball strategy that no one talks about. It's not just a top team strategy. It's not a strategy that can uh, win you the Olympics. Uh, it's a strategy that has been with us uh, for decades. Uh, I would say that it started with the advent of hard jump serves. Simply, all or nothing strategy is about uh, maximum risk, uh, about risk at all costs. You don't think uh, if you make a mistake. You go full and just don't want to give your opponent uh, any chance. You try to be as aggressive as possible in actions that can get you a point. All or nothing strategy in uh, volleyball is uh, mainly played in two skills, namely serving and attacking. You can play it on reception, on defense or when setting. These are not skills uh, where you can score a point and also require more calmness, uh, concentration, quick reactions and creativity in the case of uh, setting. When you watch modern volleyball, you see great individual and uh, team performances. Uh, every top team uh, plays uh, with a strategy and aggressiveness plays one of the main roles. I don't mean uh, aggressiveness uh, towards the opponent or the referee. It's about playing uh, aggressive in order to get a point. But on the other hand, uh, the world best teams don't play just all or nothing. They don't hit every serve with 100% power. They don't hit every attack with uh, maximum impact. All or nothing strategy is basically roulette. You either win or you lose. Although it's not uh, that simple with this strategy. It doesn't mean that uh, every maximally aggressive jump serve you make will end in an ace. Because there may be an excellent receiver player on the other side that will receive your great serve. It also doesn't mean that you either make a point or your serve ends in an error. Plenty of top players serve at the edge of risk and yet not every second serve ends in an error or an ace. Also, if you imagine coming into a match and you just say we are playing all or nothing strategy today, don't count on the success of this strategy. Like other skills and strategies, uh, you need to be prepared to use this strategy in a match. And that's what uh, practicing in training sessions leads to. For example, when I played in Berlin, I was given a green card during matches to serve with uh, maximum aggression and uh, take risk on serve. But my coach uh, wouldn't give me this uh, green card unless I practice it uh, regularly in the practice. That's why in practice sessions, uh, for example, uh, we were tasked uh, with making eight hard serves in a row and we could make only one error. It was not an easy exercise to go 100% in every serve and not make any mistakes. On the other hand, uh, because of this uh, pressure in practice and uh, successful execution, I then risked uh, serving in matches uh, which brought us a lot of pressure on the opponent. Also, in order to play all or nothing strategy, you need the right types of players. I don't just mean physically well-prepared players uh, who jump high and attack hard attacks. But these players have to be able to cope uh, with the fact that uh, they can make a lot of mistakes. They should be mentally resilient. And these mistakes uh, must not affect them negatively. And on the other hand, uh, a lot of mistakes in matches are usually not liked by coaches either. So coaches must be prepared for the consequences of this all or nothing strategy if they recommend it to their players in matches. Another prerequisite for mastering all or nothing volleyball strategy is maximum concentration. Imagine a situation where you are playing all or nothing. On serve you make uh, three errors in a row, on attack your spikes uh, end up in your opponent's block. You are not in a very comfortable situation. You are making mistakes uh, that uh, shouldn't affect your performance and subsequent actions. But you can just come to the serve and uh, just serve without brain, no matter where the ball will fly. No, you don't. Even in this situation you are trying to execute your serve in the best possible way. You must always be as focused and possible, because one day your risk uh, may work out and you may win a valuable point, uh, set or even match. Now let's talk about uh, when you could play all or nothing strategy. I point out uh, it doesn't depend uh, only on your individual decision. It should be a teamed strategy, because when one player starts uh, doing 
uh, whatever he wants uh, on court, uh, it usually doesn't work out well for the team. In only one case uh, would I recommend uh, playing all or nothing strategy for the entire game. And that's uh, if you are up against a significantly stronger team. You know that, uh, for example, the Albanian men's uh, national team, and I don't mean to insult them, is probably not going to be an equal opponent uh, to the world champions uh, from Italy. Even if AI predicts the possible outcome of the matches, uh, 10 out of 10 matches will always end uh, with the Italians winning. That's just the way it's uh, sometimes. Sometimes you can keep up uh, with your opponent uh, and the difference in the performance is not about two points uh, in the end of the game. Then I see possibility of going the yes or no route. You know you are 99% likely to lose. You know that uh, if you play your normal volleyball, you don't stand a chance. The opponent is just a much stronger. And if you have a 1% chance, uh, you can play your normal volleyball. You have to change your game and you have to change it radically. You can try to play all or nothing. Maybe you'll have your day and this strategy will get you a set win or even set finish. Anyway, also count on the fact uh, that you can make uh, 40 errors in 3 sets and lose by a huge margin if your maximum risk uh, game doesn't work out. But I believe most of you won't play such a match uh, often. Instead, uh, think more about situations and times where all or nothing strategy is suitable to use. For example, if you are down 22-14 at the end of set, uh, you no longer have uh, much chance of winning. This would be confirmed by statistics. Again, if your chances are not uh, big, uh, all or nothing strategy where you serve with uh, maximum power and attack with uh, maximum risk uh, can be a good option. Either you manage to even the end of the set and your opponent gets uh, nervous, or you make a few mistakes and lose the set anyway. But also your mistakes can make your opponents fall off uh, the rhythm and affect him in the next set. Simply betting everything on one card for a short period of time if you know your chances are small in a given set is not a bad strategy, in my opinion. On the other hand, uh, I don't recommend using all or nothing volleyball strategy in certain moments. First of all, as I mentioned, uh, it's not very reasonable to play all or nothing strategy for the whole match. This is uh, only possible against a significantly stronger team. Otherwise, playing all or nothing strategy is a very difficult task taking maximum risk, uh, not looking right or left. Then even the outcome of the match uh, can turn out diametrically different uh, than you imagined, due to your dozens of uh, bad serves and possible errors in attack. Therefore, you better not play the whole match uh, with this strategy and uh, maximum risk. You should definitely not play all or nothing strategy against a weaker opponent. You don't need maximum risk uh, in these matches. You are sure that you are better. You have easily won your last two matches against the other team 3-0. You are actually in a similar situation to the Brazilians against the Albanians. I experienced it myself at the European Championship, playing against uh, the Italian national team. We knew before the match that uh, they were stronger, that they were serving, uh, attacking, blocking very well. They were just a stronger team. And then in the match uh, we were surprised because none of the players uh, on the Italian team were hitting a strong jump serve. Instead, they were all serving float serves. They knew that uh, their defense on the block and in the field would uh, defend our attacks. Yes, we lost the match, but it was the Italians uh, who showed us that they didn't have uh, to play for maximum risk. They didn't have to play all or nothing uh, against us. That's why if you come up uh, against an opponent that is uh, weaker, you better play uh, different tactics uh, rather than all or nothing. Another situation where I don't recommend uh, playing all or nothing is if you are leading in a match. If you have 4 to 5 point lead in a set or if you are up 2-0 uh, in sets. All or nothing strategy is about maximum risk, which can yield in a lot of points but also a lot of mistakes. When you are leading, uh, you don't want to make uh, many errors on serve or on attack. Instead, uh, you want to maintain or increase your lead. Yes, some players uh, can still serve hard jump serves, but as a team uh, you shouldn't play all or nothing, because you too can get uh, out of rhythm and your mistakes can help your opponent uh, close your lead. Also when you are playing a match uh, in which uh, you are not doing well as a team, uh, you are getting a lot of aces, your opponent is blocking you and you are making a lot of extra errors of your own under this pressure, all or nothing strategy is not a good choice. 
If your team makes uh, 10 errors uh, per set, uh, that's not good. And if you add to that uh, maximum risk and all or nothing strategy, then you can count on uh, 15 errors per set and you can't uh, really play volleyball with uh, that uh, poor performance uh, or win a set or a match. Therefore, if your team is playing a bad match, uh, focus on eliminating your errors rather than uh, incorporating a maximum risk strategy into your game. The same applies individually if you are not doing well on your serve, for example. You've been five times on a serve and all of them ended in error. So there is no way to risk uh, even more. You need to improve your serve on something. Uh, you need to create an opportunity and chance uh, to score a point for your team. You need to make one or two good serves, uh, even at the cost of less risk and uh, uh, easier serve. Volleyball is uh, very much about mistakes, uh, which very often decide matches. On the other hand, uh, even all or nothing strategy can come uh, in handy in certain situations and can help you in a match. So incorporate this strategy into your volleyball strategy list. I see you in the next video. Bye.